Hello scientific people, so let us discuss about the test paper that we had given earlier and the first question is of the plane mirror and guys the plane mirror concept is very very important and we will discuss all those things which are related to plane mirror first so that you do not have to uh, entangle yourself in the next questions of the plane mirror as well. So, here what do we have? We have a plane mirror like this and this plane mirror, this is the uh, this is the plane mirror that we are talking about and suppose an object is standing at a distance of 2 meters from the plane mirror. So, this is called object distance, object distance is the distance from the mirror to the object. Then the image of this object would be exactly of the same height and that too at a same distance behind the mirror. So, you will see the same height of the image and the object at the same distance backwards behind the mirror. So, this is called image distance and image distance is again 2 meters. So, the object distance and image distance are same and the height of the object suppose here was 1 meter then the height of the image here is also 1 meter right. So, these are the characteristics of the image formed and this image is virtual and erect right. Okay. So, these things are the things which are supposed to be kept in mind height of the image and the height of the object always remain the same. So, if this height becomes 2 meter then the height of the image also become 2 meter right. So, the correct answer is virtual. Let us move on to the next question and okay, which graph represents the relationship between size of the image and the size of the object for a plane mirror. So, here the word size it is not to be confused with the volume, the size over here means height of the image right. So, this is height of the image and in plane mirror the height of the image and height of the object are same. Right. Okay. So, let us draw and understand this problem well. So, uh, suppose this is a plane mirror and uh, a very small person say for example, whose height is 0.5 meter is standing in front of a mirror then the image would be again of 0.5 meters 0.5 meters height. Right. Okay. So, let us draw the graph of the height of the image and we can also make a small observation table and let us draw that. Height of the object, height of the image. So, height of the object was 0 0.5 meters and the height of the image was also 0.5 meters. Now, the object suppose the height of the object is now big compared to the earlier one. So, the object is 1 meter uh, height of having height then the image would again be 1 meter tall. So, again 1 meter over here and 1 meter over here. Similarly, if this becomes 2 meter this also becomes 2 meter. That means, we see a pattern that if the height of the object increases the height of the image also increases. So, the height of the object and height of the image increasing there are only two possibilities one is B another is D. So, these two are wrong because here the height of the object increases, but the height of image remains same which is wrong. Height of object increases height of image decreases. So, this option is again wrong. If you look at this uh, this one this is again a wrong graph because the height of the object and height of the image are increasing proportionately if you double this this becomes double. So, whatever is height of object the same is height of the image. So, this is the correct graph because if you say that at a distance from the origin if this is 2 meters then from here again at the same 2, 2 meters distance this would be the point right. So, we are talking about this point in the same way 1 meter would be half of this somewhere over here and then 3 meters and so on. So, the correct graph is this one. Let us move on and pretty easy problem uh, is this one here the object is 
standing at a distance of 2 meters. So, object distance is 2 meters. So, the image distance from the plane mirror would be V that is same as 2 meters. So, of the same height and you can imagine a person standing over here whose height is same as this one and the image distance is again 2 meters. So, 2 meter is corresponding to C point is the correct answer right and this is the plane mirror. So, this, this part is called virtual world because this does not exist in reality. If you try to catch your image inside the mirror, there is nothing like a image inside the mirror. So, this purely is a virtual world right. Okay. A person 2 meters tall and stands at a distance of 3 meters in front of a plane mirror. So, what is this 2 meters? This 2 meter is height of the object and stands at this distance. So, this is the object distance. Now, what is being asked? Height of a person is same as the height of the image. This is the correct answer. Okay. This is concave mirror and the object is between F and P. So, we know that where should be the image form? First ray parallel, right? It should pass through the focus, another ray directly hitting the pole. It should go like this. These two rays are not going to meet. So, I am going to extend it in the backward direction, right? and I will get my image over here. Since the rays are not meeting, so virtual and direct, so out of these two we have and virtual and larger is our answer. Which of the following diagrams is correct? Okay, If you look at this one, any ray passing through C, we know that any ray when it passes through the center of curvature, it again goes back in the same direction. So, this is incorrect because the ray passing through C should go in the backward direction. In the same way, this is also wrong because the ray passing through C must go in the backward direction, but it is passing through focus. Any ray which is falling on the pole making this much angle should go like this, but they have shown it like this wrong. That means this is the correct answer and if you look uh, at the ray which is passing through focus after reflection becomes parallel, that is what we have studied. Now, to solve these kind of problems, you consider two objects in the plane mirror. One here that represents the head which is near and the tail is quite far away. So, the tail is quite far away. Now, we know that same distance the image is formed, the same distance the image is formed. So, if this is the object, then this one would be the image that makes a is our correct answer. Eighth, this is mirrored surface that means reflecting surface. So, this mirror is basically a concave mirror right? Okay. and uh, you are given that the focal length of the mirror is 0 point, uh, the focal length of the mirror is 0 0.1 meter and the object is between F and O. So, we know that the image is formed behind the mirror, it is virtual and direct just now we discussed this right okay so if you keep a very small object if you keep an object over here you will get a very large enlarged image over here correct answer is this virtual will always come with erect remember that there cannot be any image which is virtual and inverted impossible real and erect impossible real and inverted can be possible but over here our correct answer is b option object is placed at point d its image okay d is here so that means the object is beyond c so that means the image if i keep the object here then the image would be between f and c and smaller in size real and inverted which is our answer between f and c correct now at which position must a point source of light be uh, placed to produce parallel beam of reflected light. The correct answer is this is a concave mirror. Here at the focus, if you keep a very small sized object, then the rays will be diverging and the ray passing through focus will become parallel like this and this also in the backward direction and we know that the parallel rays they go to infinity. So, they are going to go to a long distance which makes D as our correct answer. 
very very good question a person standing in front of a vertical mirror now for this uh, we should uh, if you are unable to view the last two options then i'll write it down over here the c option is 0 0.25 meters and the d option is 0 meter right and this is problem number 11 so this is question number 11 if you are unable to view this and what is this question trying to tell this question is trying to tell that the rays are going to come from the foot they are going to hit and then finally it should go into the eye so something like the, okay i have made a mistake over here sorry and the rays are going to hit the mirror and from here by making same angle the rays directly going into the eye of the person now then and only then this person's eye can see its own foot but where exactly behind the mirror so the legs of the person would be appearing something like this because we do not understand the reflection so this man will assume that this ray is coming from something behind the mirror so he is going to see his own legs behind the mirror so what is being asked in the question that what is this distance right what is this distance and if you know what is this distance you can answer this problem approximately how far from the mirror from uh, how far up the mirror from the floor does the ray strike the so that means this ray from the foot where does it strike so the correct answer is actually 1 meter this is the correct answer uh, those students who are in grade 8 will have difficulty in understanding the concept but we can just we can consider this as a fact and when we can move on because this is going to come in grade 12 but uh, you can consider this as a factual problem and you can uh, move on right okay suppose this is a plane mirror and it has got some height say for example h is equal to dash now if a person listen to me very very carefully if a person whose height is 1 meter if he wants to see his full image inside the mirror then he should take the mirror of length or height 0 0.5 meters that is half of the height of the object if you take a mirror whose height is less than the half of your height you will not be able to see your full image inside this one if you take a longer mirror than half of the height you would be definitely able to see that so what should be the minimum height of the mirror to see self image which is full so the answer is our own heights half so if this man wants to look at his own image full image complete image inside the mirror minimum height should be 0.5 meter more than that that is a wastage of money as well as the wastage of the part of the mirror because in this also we can see the entire part if you say that sir I have mirror of 0.6 meter you can see your full image if your height is 1 meter but less than 0.5 you won't be able to see your full image right so if a ray strikes from here exactly half so this is 2 meter half of this is 1 meter then and only then it is going to go to the eye of the person okay now which ray will pass through focus after it is reflected from the mirror the answer is 2 because parallel ray after reflection they go through focus so our answer is b option if object ab is located at this is object distance 0 0.05 meters from point o so where is ab okay this distance is 0 0.05 meters from pole all distances are measured from pole and what is the focal length given the focal length is 0 0.04 meters so let us write it down 0 0.04 meters so that means where is the object the object is beyond f and between f and c so we know that image would be beyond c longer so the image would be farther from c as the object a b is moved towards left that means if you shift this object in this direction the image would go towards the mirror and it will become smaller and smaller so the size decreases 
if mirror's radius of curvature is increased, so we know that r is twice of f or f is equal to r by 2. So, if you increase this, the focal length also increases. At which point uh, does the image source? Okay. Here is a source and that source of light from the source of light, light is coming bouncing and observer. So, the eye of the observer is over here and the observer will think that this ray is coming from somewhere over here. And anyhow, since this is a plane mirror, so where is the image formed? Exactly same distance behind the mirror. So, in two ways you can give the answer, B option is the correct answer. Plane mirrors, so exactly this point is the point where the image is formed. The image is always virtual and erect, same size as that of the object. So, this is the correct answer. Okay. Where is the object? This pencil is this much meter long, 1 meter. So, this, this is object distance and uh, this is the focal length. So, if you see that the object distance u is double the focal length. So, the, where is the object? Object is at C. It is something like this that this is a mirror. This distance, this is focus and this is how much? 0 0.5. So, again from here 1 meter you would be at C, but obviously. So, the object at C will have same image, same size, everything is same. So, but it is not direct image, it is inverted image and same size, same height, D option. Distance between object and concave mirror is more than twice the focal length. So, that means the object is, the object is between F and C. So, the image would be real, inverted and in between it will be C, beyond C beyond C. Beyond C means on the mirror side, this is image. So, it will be real and in front of the mirror is the correct answer. Hmm. Now, ray R is most likely to. So, we know that parallel ray they appears as if to be passing through focus. Since this is a convex mirror, the ray cannot go inside the mirror. So, after reflection it will pass as if it is passing through focus, 3 of third ray is the correct answer. Here again uh, plane mirror is given to you and the object is given to you. So, let us try to understand this in bits and pieces. Now, this I am considering, I am drawing 3 dots, right? this is A, this is B this is C. So, consider A, B and C as three different objects. So, at same distance, this is A dash. At same distance, like this over here, this is B dash and C, C dash. So, if you join, this is the image, which is more closer to A option, right. Okay. So, we have this as a concave mirror, a converging mirror, right, and a ray which is parallel will definitely pass through focus. So, B is the correct answer. The shoplifters, uh, the shoplifters uh, image in a convex mirror, in convex, convex mirror the image is always virtual and smaller in size. You must recall this diagram very well, right, that this is C f and this is the non reflecting part object over here first ray parallel as if passing through focus second passing through pole like this at the same angle it is going to go now we know that the reflected rays are not going to meet so i am going to extend it in the backward direction like this image is smaller right this option 24 as the distance between man and plane mirror increases, size of the image does not change. Height of the object and height of the image always remain the same. So, no effect on that. 
candle is located if you are unable to see this this is problem number 25 and uh, you are putting the candle beyond C uh, so very small image between F and C but real and inverted would be formed. So, our correct answer would be between C and F. So, let us move on to the next problem and uh, here a truck has uh, OW OW written on its uh, front side and then the car is moving ahead of that and then in its uh, rear view mirror what do you actually see right. So, and <clears throat> then the situation would be something like this if you consider this to be the truck right and then this is the front part and somewhere over here written 0 O W O W on the mirror and <clears throat> the car is moving like this in this direction and when the driver who is sitting over here when he sees the rear mirror of of the of his own car what he would see uh, what the image of this part would be looking over here right and uh, most of us we get confused in this kind of problems it is the concept of lateral inversion. So, let us consider this to be a plane mirror right and say for example, at a distance uh, I am drawing a letter W something like this. So, this W is standing in front of the mirror right. So, you would see that exactly at the back side the W this line would be created and exactly somewhere over here this line would be created. I am sorry I messed up quite a bit, but you can see that the W appears W only. It is not uh, going to become M, it is not going to get inverted, it is going to be the lateral inversion only. So, you can see that this part is here and uh, this part is again here. So, W appears to be W only and if you write down O over here then you will see O over here again O over here O over here W over here W over here. So, what should be your correct answer? The answer is O W O W only this is our correct answer right ok. Next question, the diagram shows parallel monochromatic rays. Now, what happens is when you try to make a mirror, uh, you cannot exactly make a spherical mirror due to the errors in the machines which actually make the mirrors. So, it cannot be perfectly spherical and if this surface is a bit lacking in the spherical nature, then what is going to happen is from here the rays are going to meet somewhere over here, these rays are going to meet somewhere over here, these rays are going to meet somewhere over here, these rays are going to meet somewhere over here. So, you can see that you are not getting a proper focus which is being reflected in the question itself. So, here we do not have a proper focus that is due to the defect in the manufacturing because you cannot try you cannot completely make a perfect spherical concave or convex mirror. So, this defect can be actually minimized, but it cannot be actually fully uh, I mean removed. So, that is called spherical abrasion. Abrasion means a defect. So, defect in manufacturing due to which all the rays they meet at different different places if they are parallel rays. So, we get different different focuses. So, you do not get a proper point like focus over here. Moving on. Okay, very easy question we know that the image formed by a convex mirror is on the same side and smaller. So, you can expect something like this and this point is between pole and focus right. So, this is our correct answer equal size image can be formed only in plane mirror this is a convex mirror and over here the images are longer that can be formed in concave mirror. But rest assured all these images are actually virtual images right. So, virtual images are, are erect ok. A spherical concave mirror is used at the back of the headlight ok and uh, for producing the parallel beam. So,
this is C, this is F. If I put the object at F, let the rays come out from here and after reflection they will become parallel and the parallel rays they go to infinity, right. So, at the principal focus of the mirror, principal focus and focus one and the same thing. The object is at C and we know that the radius of curvature is double the focal length. So, radius of curvature is twice the 0 0.01 meter. So, it is 0 0.02 meters that means this distance from the pole is 0 0.02 meters. And when the object is at C, the image at, is also formed at C. So, the image is again formed at B point. Okay, here now what is given? If you want to make a concave mirror to produce a virtual image, I mean you expect the image to be formed over here, for that the object must be between pole and focus. So, the object distance must be less than 0 0.1 meter and there is only one such option that is A option. As the object is moved from point C towards point F, that means towards point F means uh, from here when we move the object like this, then we know that the image goes at infinity and the image becomes highly enlarged. This is enlarged image and when you bring this object on focus becomes highly enlarged image. So, the size of the image increases. Again, we have just now discussed about the spherical image, uh, sorry spherical abrasion. In spherical abrasion due to the improper curvature of the mirror concave or convex, the different different rays they meet at different different places, some they meet over here. So, for this ray the focus is over here, for this ray the focus is over here. So, the image is not formed at a proper place, all rays are not meeting at proper place. So, the image is hazy, fuzzy. That means, uh, you can consider it as like uh, uh, what do you put uh, like just like uh, hazy I think is a proper word, you do not have proper brightness at a particular point right ok. This is a very important concept, see over here if you have a plane mirror like this and suppose this is a plane mirror reflecting surface, this is reflecting and this is colored surface. Now, suppose a person is standing like this and these are the legs of the person right and now what happens is this man suppose this mirror is of height 2 meters and the length of this man is say for example, 2 meters, you can see that almost coming up right. Then the legs, the rays coming from the legs are hitting exactly at the half and then reaching to the eye of the person. So, this person will see his own image behind the mirror. So, the legs, his own legs will be visible behind the mirror. Now, so that means this part of the mirror is not useful for us right because he is seeing his legs from here. So, now this part of the mirror is not required and from the head the rays will bounce back and reach to his eyes. So, that means this part of the mirror is only required and this part is approximately half of this one. So, that means the part of the mirror which is required should be 1 meter in height right. So, remember this statement that uh, if the height of the person is 2 meters then the minimum length of the mirror to see his own full image is 1 meter. Less than 1 meter these rays will uh, I mean pass by and he will not be able to see his full image right and more than 1 meter that is wastage of the mirror as well right. Last one we have uh, discussed in question number 1 that uh, the object distance and image distance are same, object distance, image distance same that is only possible in plane mirror. But here it is shown negative reading because of the fact that suppose this is mirror and you consider this as number line, 
if this distance is plus 1 this distance is minus 1 meter if this is plus 2 meters this is minus 2 meters right. So, if the object is standing over here its image will be formed over here same distance. So, that is why the graph is going in the fourth quadrant. So, this is only possible if you have plane mirror. So, hopefully you have understood all the questions and in any of the cases if you have any doubts do comment in the comment section.